Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to be talking about laptop chargers and a basic introduction to the universal power adapter that a lot of people don't realize exists as an option. If your current laptop charger died, or maybe you're just looking for a second one, you could go to the manufacturer and get the proper one and you know it's going to work. There's some stores that will sell third-party adapters that can work. And then there are universal adapters. Now, I've got two to show you here today. These are basically used a lot for technicians such as myself. I've been using these for a couple of decades now. And it's great because whatever laptop I get come into my shop, if I wanted to test and see why there's no power going to the laptop, maybe it's the adapter. Instead of having hundreds or thousands of different adapters, I can have a universal adapter with different voltage ratings and we can hook that up to test it and see if it needs a new power adapter before going and buying one. Now there's two main things to consider. And also note that I'm in Canada, so I'm talking about Canadian standards. Now there could be different outlets, different voltages, they'll look different. Even the plug will look different in certain countries. So what we want is to make sure that you've got the right adapter to work in your country with the right voltage and the right connector for the laptop. So let's take a little closer look at this. Okay, so looking at this one adapter, this particular one, we have a little switch here, which is gonna be kind of hard to see, but there's a voltage rating on this. And there's a little pinhole with a lock. So I would basically take a pen to hold that down and then I can flick this toggle switch to switch between the two different voltages that it, this can take. With this particular one, I've got a different voltage on it. It doesn't have a toggle switch anywhere on here to switch back and forth. So it only is one voltage and it tells me right on the back here that it's a 65 watt universal. So if you need something other than 65 watts, then you're gonna want to make sure that you got that or get one that's capable of switching it like this one is. Now, even with these, we have a different kind of an end on here that allows us to plug in some of the adapters that we're going to look at. With this other one, I've got a different end as well. So they connect in two different ways. If I bring these together, you can see that one has two holes to plug something into and the other has three. So looking at the adapters, this side here is from the one adapter and this is from another adapter. So we got more options with these ones here. And you can see that even though like some of these, they all look very similar, but they're in slightly different sizes. So that's why you gotta make sure that they're the same. These ones, for example, all have a very similar end, but they come in different sizes. And then we got some other odd different shape as well, which is for some of the newer laptops. Now, on this other end as well, there are very similar connectors here in this row and this row as well, similar connectors, uh, kind of like these guys here, but all in different sizes. So at one point in time, I had to get two different set of adapters just so that I can cover all the laptops that I use. These would plug in by the end here and it would go in, for example, into the end here. So this would allow us to plug any one of these adapter ends into this cable. And then here's the example of the other adapter. So you can see that even though we've got all these different adapters to choose from, you still need to make sure that you're getting the correct voltage and the correct end to plug into your laptop. So don't just go online and buy any universal adapter. And that's a very basic introduction to universal power adapters as an alternative to buying the original. I'll have a couple links in the description below as well if you're looking to purchase something. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Better yet, 
If you're still watching, consider joining down below and that really shows your level of support for my channel to really help me grow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.